Hello, 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 and welcome to... Today we're talking about an old, well-known combo that has been recreated on a new M21 card. Vito, Thorn of the Dusk Rose. So for two and a black, you get a 1-3 legendary vampire who can give all creatures you control lifelink for three and two black. But Vito also has this ability. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. Now while this seems new and cool, it's not really that unique. It's been printed before on a much more famous card, the Black Enchantment Sanguine Bond. It's not even that unique on a creature, because Defiant Bloodlord also has this ability and Viscopa Guildmage has it as an activated ability. What is unique about this is that Vito can be your commander, because he's legendary, but also that it costs significantly less to get this ability on Vito compared to all these other cards. The problem with this is that Vito combos with another black enchantment, Exquisite Blood, that says whenever an opponent loses life, you gain that much life. So when you have both out on the battlefield, you just need to gain one life or an opponent needs to lose one life and that's a game. You can drain all your opponents just from that one point life difference. Now Exquisite Blood already combos with Sanguine Bond and the Blood Lord and the Guild Mage, but before I get into some of these more fun synergies with Vito, I have to say that this is kind of a piss off. I like combos, don't get me wrong, but at least with Sanguine Bond or the other ones, you needed 10 mana to create the combo. And with Vito, you only need 8. Now a difference of 2 mana might not seem like much, but 8 mana in 1 turn or spread over 2 turns is much different than 10 mana. Especially when 3 of that mana is sitting in your command zone whenever you want it. I just feel like this doesn't foster creative deck building. We don't need every cool effect or combo piece to be slapped into the command zone at a reduced price. I just don't think it's healthy for EDH. Okay, but I can't control what Wizards does, so saying all that, here are some fun ways to combo with Vito in EDH or Pioneer or whatever the fuck you want to. Since any change in life in a positive direction is considered life gain, any effect that can massively up your life total will trigger Vito. So doubling your life with Beacon of Immortality could kill an opponent if your life is high enough. Also with Evra. Halcyon Witness, you can pay 4 to exchange your life total with her power. So say you do the exchange and she becomes a 44 and your life total becomes 4 and then you exchange again and your life goes back to 40, technically you just gained 36 life and you get to peg an opponent for 36 with Veto. Invincible Him is a card that lets you change your life total to the number of cards in your deck. Again, letting you peg an opponent for an absurd amount of damage. And Resolute Archangel changes your life total back to your starting amount when it enters the battlefield. So if you're about to die and you play it, you go back up to 40 life, dealing 30 some damage. Exchanging life totals with an opponent would also count too. So if you can trade for a higher life total with cards like Soul Conduit or Magus of the Mirror or Axis of Morality, then you can also peg that opponent that just got the shittier end of the stick. But finally, you can pull an underhanded victory with Vito and the Revenge half of Revival and Revenge, if you have at least half the life as target opponent. Let me do some quick math to explain. If you have 20 life and an opponent has 40 life and you play revenge, you double your life gaining 20 and then that opponent halves their life from 40 to 20. But then since you have Vito out, you can make an opponent lose 20 life because you gain 20 life by doubling your life. This means with Vito and revenge, you can one shot any opponent if you have at least half of their life. Or you know, you can just use blood tribute and kick it by tapping Vito. Target opponent loses half their life, and then, if you kick Blood Tribute, you gain that much life. So yeah. Game over! Anyways, there are some combos with Vito. Let me know down below what you think about Vito. Is this too much for Commander? I think it's a step in the wrong direction. But if you disagree, let me know how I'm wrong. And when you need another combo, come back here to Combo Breakdown.